While applying a convolution on an image, we move our filter by one pixel, one pixel to the right or one pixel to the down. And if you haven't checked out my video on convolution operation and you are unsure what it is, then click on the upper I button. It will take you to the video where I have explained the convolution operation well and in detail. And this is called as having stride equal to one. But what we can also do is that instead of moving by one pixel, we can directly move by two pixel at once. Then again two pixel and directly two pixel down. This is called as having stride equal to two. We can move our filter by two pixel or even three pixel or by whatever amount we want. And while using stride, the convolution operation is called strided convolution. Now, when we have, now let's take an example when we, when we have stride equal to two, when we have stride equal to two, then we will perform the usual operation by multiplying these values with the parameter value of the filter and then adding all these value together and final whatever number we get will be placed in this position. Then we move by two pixels and then we fill this position and then this position then this, this, and this. But what if we don't have enough pixel values for this region? Then what we will do is that we will completely discard this region totally. And after applying the strided convolution, the size of the final image becomes n minus f by s plus one and floor value of this. Here s represents the amount of stride, well n is the input dimension and f is the size of the filter and this is the floor function which means that we take the greatest integer which is less than that for example the floor of 2.7 is 2 in this example i had used the image of size 6 cross 7 let's say our input image was of size n1 cross n2 and our filter size was f cross f then the size of the final image will become n1 minus f by s plus 1 floor value multiplied by n2 minus f by s plus 1. So in this example, it became 6 minus 3 by 2 plus 1 and 7 minus 3 by 2 plus 1 equal to 2.5 and 3, which will be 2 by 3. And it might also be the case that we might be using padding in our convolution then in that case the size of the final image will be n plus 2p minus f by s plus 1 floor value where here p represents the amount of padding and similarly for n2 plus 2p minus f by s plus 1 so this was about stride and in the next videos we will also see the some other important details behind the convolutional neural network and if you found this video helpful then hit the like button also share it among your friends and do subscribe to the channel if you want to learn machine learning from me because I upload new videos regularly on machine learning every week. And you can move to the next video of this series by clicking somewhere in the left side or the right side of this video. And I will see you in the next one.